What's going on? It's your boy Cade Collins with Finding Hope with Creators. And today we're going to learn how to set up our Cloudflare DNS integration with ClickFunnels. Uh, we're going to make sure that your domain is linked appropriately with ClickFunnels and Cloudflare, give you some added protection and let us do some redirects and some custom stuff. This is going to be really important for you to establish your credibility and your authority with your online website. So before we go into it, I hope you guys are having a good one. Make sure to subscribe and stay till the end because we're going to do something really special. Um, you're going to see a website that we put together really quickly. Uh, we put together a template that you can download as well for free and you'll get 14 days free for ClickFunnels as well. So let's dive into it. Let's do the DNS records with Cloudflare and ClickFunnels and get started. <laughs> All right, let's dive into it. Let's go to mail.google.com, create a new account. I know we have one, but let's create a new account. Um, and for you to manage my business, uh, enter your first name, your last name. Uh, for us, we're going to be doing Synergy Collab, a username, synergycollab at gmail.com or synergycollabhq at gmail.com. Any of those nomenclatures are going to be helpful uh, just so you can distinguish this from some of the main emails you'll be using. Set up your password and let's go next. Um, don't forget to make sure that you have your birthday in there um, and also your gender. There's an option to not say. So, uh, Good job, Google. Let's go next, and we will move forward uh, through the privacy and terms. And this is something always open in new tab. Um, take an opportunity to peruse and learn how they will be using your data um, and obviously making uh, some revenue off of that. But go through, and then I agree. Um, there's some more options on web and app app. app web and app activity, ads personalization, and your YouTube history, but I just go through and I agree. Um, we're setting this up so we can set up our DNS service. Go not now. Um, you can always set this up later, uh, but the intention of this is so when we are uh, connecting Cloudflare, we have another, um, another email outside of what we already pay for in the Google workspace uh, that isn't associated with uh, charges. So if you uh, accidentally miss a payment, um, your business and your websites aren't all going to uh, sh shut down. So that's what we're going to use to log into Cloudflare. Uh, this is your new Gmail account. And let's go over to cloudflare.com. Uh, so over here you can see sign up. We're gonna sign up with that new email we just made. Um, go ahead and use a strong password again. Uh, Cloudflare is very useful for redirects, but also for some protection and sets you up for your business to scale. Again, uh, when you're making that original email, you could use your um, business name, uh, the name of the new product that you're launching, etc. cetera. Uh, let's go ahead and type in the uh, domain that we've purchased earlier from the registry, uh, add this site. And you have some paid options for now. We're gonna use this free version zero. It's all you're gonna need for a while. Uh, continue. And it's gonna be doing a quick scan. Then it's gonna review the DNS records. And then it's gonna ask us to change our name server. So what it's done is it scanned um, that domain's uh, content, its name, ITTL, proxy status, etc. Um, and it did find, just so you know, I've already done the mail integration with G Suite at the time, but now Google Workspace. Um, that's something that I'll make a future video. Let me know in the comments if that's something you want to see. Say, please make the mail um, address version, but um, I already had the MX uh, record set in here. So we're going to be deleting these C name records and that A record, but first, what we're going to do is log into the registry. So so for me, it was GoDaddy. If you're using Google Domains or any of those uh, registries, you're going to want to log in. We're going to remove the name servers, and then we're going to add the two that were on that last page. So um, we're going to keep going through here. Uh, go to the DNS records, uh, DNS management section for us in GoDaddy. We're going to type in the domain, cadecollins.com for this example. And we are going to uh, go ahead and delete some. So for me, again, I had the MX records. I already did the mail integration. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete the C name record and the A record and put in um, the name servers. But first, what we're going to do is this name server part. So we're going to go grab and remove the following name servers from GoDaddy. And then we're going to add these um, Cloudflare name servers. So it's helping it redirect to the proper place. And 
And what we're going to do next, uh, for me, I had some um, just verify identity. I like to take full control and make sure to protect everything as much as possible. So um, you'll see in a little bit, there's some two-factor authentication that uh, I, I definitely highly recommend you use, especially for these assets for your business. So simple, right? All right, so DNS management, um, the name servers are partially updated, but first what we wanna do is make a new ClickFunnels account. Um, this is what we're gonna be connecting our domain to. Uh, this is gonna be your, pretty much your, your online store, your web presence, your everything, your hero page, your brand. And uh, the great thing about what Russell Brunson does is he makes it so simple, drag and drop simple, um, and that's why it's gonna integrate really, really seamlessly to our domain. Um, so go ahead in the in the description below, you're going to get a 14 day trial, um, part of one of Russell's amazing groups. And, you know, he really delivers a lot of value. So you get like all these trainings, um, highly suggest you do that. But once you're in, I'm going to log into my account. You can see it right now. We're going to go to that domains section in the account settings. And the account settings is found in that top right section. Um, and right now we've added some domains. Yours is going to be blank slate if you just did the 14 day um, free trial, but you're just going to go into this add new domain section. And for us, add your own domain. So you can always get your domain from uh, ClickFunnels, uh, but I would, uh, I, I always go like domains at uh, Google or uh, go domains at uh, GoDaddy. Uh, so let's add our domain. Delete the www here. So this is going to be the trick here. We want to delete the www and check yes, this domain is registered on Cloudflare. We're going to add that domain. Um, and now it's going to ask us how to, con or tell us how to connect our domain to ClickFunnels. So in order to do this, we need to, um, change the C name record. Uh, so it points to the www at target.clickfunnels.com. So let's hop back over to Cloudflare. Let's make sure to, con uh, verify the name servers were set up appropriately. We'll click finish later. And then it, what it's going to ask us to do is complete your name server setup. So, um, right now it's still verifying. It takes some time for the internet to crawl or for these systems to crawl the internet and you click check name servers it might take a moment um, what you can also do is reload the page after you've clicked that I think that's what we do um, pretty often to make it speed up the process it can take up to 24 hours so don't stress if it's not happening immediately or you know it says a please wait a few hours here but essentially we're going to go ahead and um, just make sure that it propagated through the system that the name servers we changed in GoDaddy uh, were the ones that are pointing to Cloudflare now. So you'll see in a moment, um, I'm sure it's going to take a little bit, but we'll make sure to cut to it when it's all prepared. Um, and there you go. So I'm just reloading the page. Awesome. This says great news. Cloudflare is now protecting your site. So that means that the name servers are pointing to the proper place. So what we're going to want to do now is change some of the DNS records. Um, this is the DNS management in Cloudflare. So we're going to change, you know, where we see this type A and the C name. For me, we already had the MX name. We want that to stay and the text, you know, that's some, uh, some tracking code that we have in there too. So long story short, I'm going to delete, go ahead and delete these records um, you're probably only going to see an a name or a c name or something like that really depends on where you re registered but long story short we can delete what was in there from my particular example i'm going to keep these mx records but let's delete those two so now we just have the mx and the text that MX record again is for that mail. So if you want me to make that video, let me know in the comments below. I'd be happy to do it. Um, so this record type is going to be a C name at the at, and we're going to um, redirect or target target dot clickfunnels dot com. And that's what we copied over from this site. Um, let's save that and it's saved appropriately. So let's just go ahead and we're going to add one more record. And what this does is allows us to set up page rules, which is a cool trick that Cloudflare's allow. So we're going to do the www and target the at. 
Um, so let's save that. And what we're going to be able to do is we're going to go over um, to the top here and set up some page rules. So have you guys ever seen when you type in a website, it's www.facebook.com. Um, when in reality, you really could just type in facebook.com and everything we want to do is reduce the amount of strain and make it as simple as possible for our users. So I'm going to go over here to page rules. So now when they're going into cadecollins.com, they don't need to actually put that www, but we can also make sure that if they put in an incorrect URL that it's redirecting to the place that we want them to go as well. So let's say it's a dead link or something that we wrote in a long, uh, a past blog post. This is going to make sure that our real estate online makes sure to stay true. Um, and we're really getting the maximum out of this asset. So I'm going to go ahead and type in www.cadecollins.com. I'm going to set this to a forwarding URL. It's a forwarding rule. And then we're going to do this at a 301 permanent redirect to the HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash your domain.com. So don't need that www in that bottom piece, but in this top piece, we're going to want to do www um, dot the domain you want and then forward slash asterisk. So this asterisk is actually going to be kind of like a, a, um, a, a joker variable, right? Like it can be anything. And that's where what we're going to do down here at the bottom is redirect to the forward slash dollar sign, which make dollar sign, which makes that. So anything that they type in there will redirect to the right place. So we're going to do dollar sign one, which will be the first variable um, in that sequence. And the asterisk will be some joker. If someone types in anything, it'll make sure to redirect to the proper place. So this page rule is set up. As you saw, we had three page rules. We have two page rules left. Um, if this is complex, just let me know in the comments, any questions we can make sure to put together a guide, something, uh, make sure that's simple enough for you. But let's go back to click funnels and check. I've done this step. And we did it. Awesome. CadeCollins.com is now connected and ready to use. Um, it was super cool. We got an opportunity to, you know, meet with a funnel master and we spent about an hour and a half, two hours just building out some funnels uh, the other day. So I might have one in here that I'll pull up. Um, and for the first 10 people, um, if you go ahead and comment, I want this funnel, um, I'm going to go ahead and give you, send you this hero funnel uh, template. So you can just plug and play directly into the ClickFunnels account. You got the 14 day free membership. So let's go over to the, my domains. Again, that's in the account settings area. Let's go to the domain. We're going to hit edit. Uh, we're going to go and make sure that the set up the secure, um, variable is set up. This might take a moment. Um, you know, sometimes, all right, so success we've initiated the SSL. Um, so let's just make sure to go back. Sometimes it takes a moment. I'm going to hop over to domains still securing. Um, see the others are secured. We want to make sure to have a secure domain and let's go over to the SSL. We can check it again. Let's do check now. All right, let's try this one more time. Nope. Okay. Error. The SSL certificate is still being verified. So, um, sometimes it takes some time, but I'm going to make sure to let's try one more time. Boom. Success. Awesome. Congratulations. Your Cade Collins .com, um, is now ready. So that being said, I did attach it to the hero funnel that I set up already. Let's just hop over. Let's see if it's secured. Yeah, it's secured. We got some other domains in here. Um, ClickFunnels is amazing. It gets you to do a ton of domains. Check out that that trial that you have down in, in the description. Let's go check out cadecollins.com. Boom. Okay. Let's check that out. I mean, from zero to hero in just a matter of 15 minutes, um, let's get that for you. Let us know in the comments if you have any questions. Um, and for that mail uh, integration, if you have any questions and you want us to do the mail setup, you want me to screen record in a format like this, um, you know, G Suite is an amazing, amazing tool. That's what we use. It's actually Google Workspace now. Uh, but, you know, if you like Gmail, Google Calendar, Google Drive, Google Meet, um, but has the sheets, it has the the docs, uh, has slides, 
has it has it all ha, has really everything that a business in 2021 would need um and i think they have a free 14 day trial I, I don't get paid by any means to say this stuff but um the guys at google are doing an amazing job so that was a step-by-step -step cloudflare tutorial now we have click funnels cloudflare and everything pointing to the right place and you guys saw the new website cadecollins.com um we actually put together a custom template for that as well leave a comment below say i want that template we're gonna hook you up for free not a problem i hope you guys are having a good one make sure to subscribe and follow us on the next video and we will talk soon again make sure to leave that comment below if you want that template and we'll talk soon